Hello, my fabulous artist. So I am here with my butterfly artwork. And you can see I have already outlined it and painted it in. You may not be at this stage yet. You may have just drawn your butterfly. But what I'd like to introduce to you today is this awesome background that we're going to create. We're going to create this using texture plates. These are my texture plates. They are in a container clear container and you can see they look just like this. I've got lots and lots of them with all different patterns and designs. You're also going to use um, some big crayons. Some crayons I have are in shapes. I find these easiest to use. Other crayons are just like regular crayons but they're bigger. I find that's easiest. To use the texture plates you may put it on either side and you put it underneath your project because what's going to happen is, so I'm going to slide it right under there, what's going to happen is when I start coloring, you're going to notice the texture that's on that texture plate is going to show up. Now, let me tell you, when you're coloring, you're going to want to push down nice and hard. If you're not pushing hard, that pattern is not going to show up. And you want to make sure you get right up next to your butterfly. You can see I've come to the end of that texture plate. You're just going to move it over and then continue coloring. Notice I'm pushing hard. I'm going back and forth. You don't want to move. Once you start coloring, you don't want to move your paper because you want to stay right there on that same pattern. And there you go. And you are going to create that pattern on the entire background. Everything behind your butterfly will be done in that texture. Have a great time with your texture plate.